Hi, welcome back. This week we're going to be talking about undertones, as requested by Pritika. Um, for this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how I identify my undertones and which foundations and concealers work best for me. So there's three main undertones, warm, cool, and neutral. If you still can't tell, there's a couple of common ways to test what your undertone is. One is your veins. So if you've got green veins, then you're probably a warm tone. As you can see, ish, it's kind of green. If you've got blue or purple veins, you're probably a cool tone. If you've got blue and green veins, you're neutral. Personally, it took me a very long time to figure out my undertone with this common rule of veins. So I like to test using gold and silver jewelry. Well, if gold looks better on you, then you probably have warm undertones. If silver looks best on you, then you're probably a cool undertone. Again, if both look good on you, you're probably neutral. So I think gold looks great on me and makes me look like Beyonce, so I am definitely a warm undertone. So my go-to concealer is Sleek's Correct and Conceal Palette, and I love it for two different reasons. It's got SPF and it really brightens up my eye area. So first, I start off with a corrector, and what this does is it covers up the green underneath my eyes, like the dark eye circles. And I look kind of ghoulish, and then I just leave it there. I'm just kidding. There is this concealer that neutralizes the corrector so it matches my skin tone. So again, I apply it with my fingers just to melt it into my skin so it blends really well. Once I've applied it with my fingers, I really need to blend it out with a beauty blender. So afterwards, I just take a brush and use this powder to set the concealer. If you just used one concealer, it could look grayish, especially if it's really light. That's why I really love this trio. As you can see, there's yellow undertones in this concealer. Compare it to this one, which has more of like a rosy ivory color. This would look silly on me um, because it's made for people with cool tones. You can really see the difference between the two. And this is Miraness Touch On Concealer, which might also be a corrector because it is very light. If you're looking for a foundation that complements your undertone, I highly recommend starting with the balm. So they've got this Time Balm foundation, which is looking like this and it's got a huge range of colors. So it comes in this adorable petri dish and I've never seen a foundation look like this, whole well, package like this. Um, so it's really secure packaging, comes with a sponge which I'll never use and uh, it gives you medium to full coverage and a little bit goes a long way. My first experience with this was really nice. I'm wearing it right now and it's got vitamin A, C and E in it. So it's good for your skin. How I apply it is I take a dab and I just dab it onto my skin, cheek, chin and forehead. So I'm blending it in right now with a beauty blender. And someone in my previous video suggested that I bounce it on my skin instead of rubbing it onto my skin. And that was a really good tip, so thank you. <laughs> so I have to remember to put foundation on my neck so it doesn't look like my head is floating from my body. One thing I really love about this foundation is it gives medium to full coverage, but feels really light on my skin. It doesn't even feel like I'm wearing foundation at all. So an example of a couple of foundations that really complement their respective skin tones is from Luscious. This is um, a liquid foundation from Luscious and it's called Pink Porcelain. As you can see, it's got a pinky tone compared to a yellowish tone one. And this would be great for cool skin because it's kind of pink. A neutral one, it's got one of the key words in it, just like beige. Like if you're a neutral, look for words that have beige. This is called golden beige. And you can tell that it's, it's a little less red than the other one. And if I put it next to sand, which is for warm undertones, you can really see that the sand one is more yellow than the neutral one. If you still can't figure out which foundation looks best on your skin, go to the store and test different swatches on your jawline. In my opinion, I think that's the best way to find if a color disappears into your skin. Some people say back of the arm, on the chest, and the neck is better. But for me, I always wear a hat in the sun, so my body and my face are always different colors. So I always test on my jawline. I'd love to know which products work best for your undertone. Leave me a comment below. If you haven't already, click subscribe below and help us reach 10,000 subscribers. Thanks for watching and see you next week. Bye! Go to the drugstore or the beauty, beauty parlor. It's not 1950s. Go to the drugstore and just swatch them on. Um, I feel like I got shorter. And this tutorial is going to be about how I. And, uh, and if you are. If you have blue undertones. Uh, that would make you a smurf. So, okay, so.
So let's do this.